Hi everyone and welcome to the last of our mini lectures for essay writing for university uh, because over the next three weeks your focus is on one thing and one thing only and that is completing uh, assignment four. So we will finish module four over the next three weeks and that means that essay writing is finished for you once you submit assignment for the Let's Go activities and research essay. So the end is most definitely in sight for you and that's a very exciting time but it will also be a very busy time for you. So once again and as you um, should be very well aware by now it's absolutely essential that you're clear on what you need to submit for this essay, uh, for this assignment, uh, and that you're following the instructions and that you've checked everything before you um, hand the assignment in and also as you're going through and working on it. So you can see there again, I've popped up the assessment block that you will see on Moodle. Um, and if you click into assignment four, the research essay link, this is the page that you will come up with. So you will be able to print out the criteria sheet and the task instructions by clicking on the first link and uh, you should have really done that already but uh, if you haven't now is the time to do so. And in this link also you will find the templates that you will need for the Let's Go activities that you need to submit. So you can download four uh, templates for Activity 4.7 because you'll need four of them. Then you can download the Activity 4.9 template and the Activity 4.10 template uh, and use them as you get to those activities um, as you're working through Module 4. Now we've also provided here a sample of the research essay from a previous student. As you look at that, as with all the samples and models that we've provided to you through the course, it's really important that you realise that sometimes our assessment changes from year to year. So um, the exact details of this sample might not be exactly what you will be doing, what you've been asked to do, but it does give you an idea of the standard of work that we're expecting uh, and what you should be aiming towards in a general sense. And then the final thing to do is once you think um, in week 12 that you're ready to submit assignment four, come back to this page and go through the submission checklist and ensure that you have um, done everything on that list that you can tick off all those points and if you've done that then you're ready to submit your assignment. So in short there are three, there are three parts to assignment four. There's the Let's Go activities which you will find all the way through module four um, and as you will see some are submitted and some are not. If you're at all unsure about which ones are submitted make sure that you double check with your lecturer. Uh, then you will have the complete research essay that you will have written um, and then you will have as usual with all of our pieces of assessment your reflective response. So in the week 10 topic there's a more detailed video that explains what the point of the Let's Go activities are and gives you some instruction on how to approach those and the essay. I would strongly um, suggest that you watch that in week 10 this week um, and you may want to keep coming back to it just to remind yourself um, of the path of the track that you're on. So there's not a lot more to say. At this point in the course it's up to you to take responsibility for this assignment. We've built skills, we've given you feedback as you've gone through and if you've worked through um, all the activities and the modules and completed and submitted your assignments you should be in a very good position to really get moving now on this research essay and get it done in the next three weeks. One thing I would suggest to you is that you really manipulate meticulously plan the final three weeks of this course. So know when that uh, you're going to finish researching, know when you want to finish taking notes, know when you want to have your planning done, know when you're going to have the various Let's Go activities completed, know when you're going to give yourself a deadline of having a first draft of the assignment completed. 
and give yourself enough time to proofread and edit and rewrite um, and polish your final version of the research essay. And if you follow the path through the assignment that's provided in Module 4 by doing those um, activities and reading the material that's provided there for you and looking at the modules, you will find that the assignment does unfold in a quite logical and straightforward manner. But that doesn't mean that you still can't ask us questions as much as you need to. Make use of the Moodle discussion forums, make use of um, email if you're an internal student, make make use of going to class and being guided by your lecturer and if you're a distant student make sure that you're con continually checking your email from any for any further instructions or offers of help from your um, support lecturer. So I would like to wish you all the luck in the world with um, finishing assignment 4 and finishing essay writing for university. I hope you've learned a lot during this course and that you'll be able to continue building your writing skills as you move forward in steps and then on into your undergraduate degree.